In today's video, I'm going to be eating only Korean food for 24 hours. I don't know if you can tell from my voice, but I'm a little sick. To start off, we are going to make some tea that I bought from Korea in 2019. So it might be expired, but that's okay. So I have this tea from Jeju. They have a store in Seoul, so I went a little crazy when I went there. This is blended tea with Jeju cherry blossoms. Ooh, this smells so good. I like to put a little cold water in so that I can drink it right away and don't have to wait for it to cool down. Cheers! Ah, still very hot. Ah, adding more water. The cherry blossom flavor is very strong. Mm. My sister's currently in Korea, so I might ask her to stop by this tea store and get me some more tea. For lunch, we are going to be making steamed egg, the ones that they serve at the Korean barbecue restaurants here. I don't know if Koreans eat this for breakfast, but we're gonna eat it anyway. And I don't have those like, those stone pots that they usually put it in. So I'm going to use a regular pot and hopefully that will be okay. I love green onions, so I'm going to put in a lot of it. In a bowl, I'm going to be mixing the three eggs. Now we're gonna add half a cup of chicken stock, or you can use water if you want. I'm going to eyeball it because I'm too lazy to wash my, oh, wash my measuring cup. Salt. Okay, now you mix. In this pot, we are going to be adding sesame oil. I don't know what I'm doing. All right, that looks about good. Now we're going to pour in the mixture and turn on to medium, medium low heat. Ta-da! So this recipe obviously is not going to look like the ones that they give at the Korean barbecue restaurants because I'm not using those pots. It's not gonna have like a like a volcano top. Ooh, so this is what it's looking like. Ooh, it actually smells so good. Ooh. really good and it was so easy to make mm. Mm. That was really good. Mm -mm -mm. definitely use chicken stock because it tastes more flavorful I'm so proud of myself I'm going to go do some work now and then we're gonna be making lunch okay for lunch we're going to be making kimchi pancakes and I have never made this before so we'll see how it goes and I'm very excited I have some leftover green onions from when I made the steamed eggs so we're just gonna scoop that over we're gonna put this in this bowl okay and then we're also gonna need half a pound of kimchi I don't know how much half a pound is and I don't even know how many kimchi pancakes I'm going to be making. So we're just gonna wing it. Does that look like half a pound? Is this enough? I don't know how much to cut it. Now we're gonna put this in here. 
We're also gonna put in two tablespoons of the kimchi juice. One, two, and I'm gonna do a little more. Okay, now we're gonna do half a teaspoon of sugar. That seems like very little. And then half a cup of all-purpose flour, half a cup of water, and then four tablespoons of vegetable oil. One, two, three, four. Yum! Okay, I'm actually stupid. I was wondering why we would put the vegetable oil into the mixture. That was for the um, pan. I don't know how to read directions. So yeah, don't do that. Okay, this looks very watery. I feel like I can put in more flour. Okay, that looks promising. Okay, so this actually makes one whole 12 inch pancake. Okay, now we add the vegetable oil. Oh, I dropped the spoon in there. This looks a little thick, but we'll make it work. Ooh. I think I'm gonna flip it now. Oh no. Ready? One, two, three. Ooh! Wait, that looks pretty good. <gasps> wow! I don't know why it doesn't stay together, like it's falling apart. <laughs> I don't have a plate this big, so I'm gonna put it on a, this cutting board. And I tried to flip this again, and it's like falling apart. Do you see that? I don't know why that's happening, so we're just gonna transfer it on here. Ta -da! Let's try this out. I'm just gonna use my hands. It's pretty crispy. good except that it's falling apart i think i used too much kimchi mm. Mm, that's actually really good though mm. Mm. i would say it's a success it's crispy on the outside and gooey on the inside and it's the perfect amount of spiciness mm. i'm surprised Okay, it is much later. I have been editing for I don't know how long. When I edit for a really long time, my body is tense the whole time and it takes me a while after I finish editing to relax. <laughs> and now we're cooking dinner and this recipe I feel like is a little harder. I should have started this sooner because it might be a while until I eat. But today we are going to be making that bokum tang. Yes, I think I said that right. Um, dak bokum tang, which is spicy braised chicken. Yes, spicy braised chicken. My head is jumbled right now because I kind of have a headache from editing and uh, staring at a screen for a few hours. But let's get started. In this bowl, we are going to be making the seasoning paste. So I cut up some garlic. Now we're gonna put in a quarter cup of soy sauce, quarter cup of red pepper powder, gochugaru. That's gonna be really spicy. Gochujang. That looks about right. And then one tablespoon of sugar. Wait, am I doing this right? Okay, one tablespoon of sugar. And then we're also supposed to put in onions. I think I could have just done this in the cooking pot. Let's cut up the onions. I almost just chopped three of my fingers. And earlier today when I was making the kimchi pancake, I also dropped the knife. So I don't think I should be in the kitchen. Um, I'm also crying now because of the onions. Ow, my eyes. Ugh. Oh my God. These onions are spicy. Ugh. Okay, okay, now we're gonna add in the 
chicken. I don't know why they didn't just tell me to put this in a pot. There's no point in using this. Now we mix. We also need to add two cups of water in here. Now we put this in a pot. I should have just started with that. Okay, I bring to a boil and then cook for 20 minutes on medium high heat. Okay, while that's cooking, we're going to wash and peel the potato. I'm also going to add in some green onions. Now we wait for 20 minutes. Okay, so it's been 20 minutes. We are going to open. Wow! Add in the potatoes and then mix it a little bit. Ah! No! Don't wear white while you're cooking this. Okay, now we're gonna cover for another 20 minutes. The potato should be submerged. How is this gonna cook? That looks so good. Now we are going to let it cook for another two to three minutes without the lid so that it can thicken and then it will be good to go. I'm so excited. Okay, I have this brown rice from Trader Joe's. We just put this in the microwave for three minutes and then we'll be ready. Bam. Ta da! I'm gonna have some makgeolli, which is Korean carbonated rice wine. I think the soup is supposed to be thicker. Wow, look at that. The meat is like falling off the bone. Wow, look at that one. <laughs> okay, we're gonna open this makgeolli. Make sure you shake it a little bit. Not shake it, but like make sure the bottom is mixed in well. Let's try this chicken. Mm, the potato is perfect. Mm, the spice level is also perfect. I love eating spicy food, but I can't handle spice well. And this is just the right amount for me. That was way easier to make than I thought it was going to be. Last time we used the Instant Pot, that was my first time using an Instant Pot, so I didn't know how to work it. So the Instant Pot wasn't working, so we had to transfer it to a regular pot, and it took way longer than it should have. This only took like, at most an hour. Hmm. Hmm. Potato? Hmm. I need to make that more often. It was so easy to make my eggs from the morning. Mm. So that is it to this video. I hope you enjoyed watching me only eating Korean food for 24 hours. It was really fun to make this video and also to cook all the food. I will definitely start making them way more often because 
They were so easy to make and so yummy. And all the recipes I followed are from Mangchi, and I will link her recipes in the description. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe, and comment down below what other foods you would like me to try. It can be other Korean foods or other cuisines. I'm thinking about doing a only eating Japanese food for 24 hours and also Taiwanese food because I am Taiwanese. So that one will be easy, I hope. <laughs> yeah, that is it. Goodbye.